For a lot of us, a KitchenAid stand mixer is pure kitchen goals. It's an appliance a lot of us aspire to have, but they can be pricey, so it's hard to know if it's worth it. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and when it comes to stand mixers, there's also a couple of configurations, notably the tilt head stand mixer, or one with a bowl lift. I wanted to see what's so special about a KitchenAid stand mixer, so I recently bought the KitchenAid KSM150 PSOB Artisan Series 5-quart stand mixer to find out for myself. I chose the tilt head version because my old mixer had the bowl lift, so I wanted to try something new. I'll tell you what I used it for, how it worked out, its pros and its con, and how the tilt head design here compares to the lift version, and if I can recommend this one for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and do consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. So what's in the box? The KitchenAid KSM150 PSOB, which I'm going to shorten for now to the KSM150. There's the mixer body and it comes with a 5 quart stainless steel mixing bowl. This is a bit on the smaller side as there are also 7 or 8 quart mixers out there, but this seems like a good mix between capacity and space saving. KitchenAid claims it can handle 9 dozen cookies or 4 loaves of bread in a single batch in that bowl, but I think that seems like a bit of a stretch. There are three main attachments, a whisk attachment, a batter beater, and a dough hook. In truth, this is really all you need for baking and mixing. There's also a see-through splash guard with spout. Worth noting, KitchenAid mixers also generally have a separate port called the Power Hub for accessories like pasta rollers or a grinder too, so you can expand your kitchen tools as budget allows. Right out of the box, the first thing I noticed was that this mixer is really heavy. It's made of metal and I think it feels really solid. It definitely seems like something you're going to have for your entire life. The KitchenAid KSM150 stand mixer has that tilt head which allows you to access the mixing bowl and make adjustments to the attachments without having to struggle it past the mixing head or relying on that lift mechanism. There is a tilt lock which prevents the unit from tilting while running. Now using this mixer is pretty straightforward. Lock the bowl into place by twisting it, add your attachment and these simply push and turn to lock, they go in quite easily, then lower the head and get to work. The mixer has 10 speeds using a lever. You kind of need to toggle it in between the number stops to get all 10 speeds. In my uses, mixing different batters, making a pie crust and even bread dough, the speeds and power seemed like more than enough. I tried it with a big batch of cookie dough though, about four dozen, and to be honest, it sounded and seemed like the KitchenAid was struggling a bit. Eventually, it got the job done with this stiff dough. The splash guard will keep everything in the mixing bowl where you want it, and with an opening for adding ingredients while the machine is running, it's kind of handy. When it comes to cleanup, the bowl here can go in the dishwasher, as can the dough hook and the batter beater, but the whisk is hand wash only if you don't want it to discolor. Now, full disclosure, on another model I own, I did put mine in the dishwasher for years, and yes, it discolors and kind of turns dull, but that didn't bother me as much as not being able to put it in the dishwasher would. So should you choose a tilt head or a bowl lift stand mixer and how do these two things compare? In all honesty, there is actually not a lot of operational difference. The only difference truly is in how you lock in the bowl. The mixer itself operates exactly the same. So where you might choose one of these over the other is if you plan to store or use your mixer like this one underneath an upper cabinet, you'll wanna make sure you've got clearance. The bowl lift model, if you choose that one, will give you easier access and you won't need to pull your mixer out from underneath those upper cabinets every time you want to lift the head like you would with this one. Overall, I have to say this is a great mixer. On the plus side, it was powerful enough for me and easily managed pie crusts, bread doughs, and cake batters. I like the design. It's not overly large and the colors that it comes in are super cute. There's lots of options there. It seems solid and really durable too. The attachments that it comes with are all I need and they seem to work well. I also like the option of the power port for additional attachments. On the downside, this machine is heavy, so once you place it, it's kind of meant to stay put and you do need to make sure you have clearance above it if you want to use the tilt head. Bottom line though, this mixer is a solid workhorse and it makes so many kitchen jobs easier. If you cook or bake a lot, you absolutely need one of these KitchenAid stand mixers, the Artisan Stand Mixer. That's model KSM 150.
It sells for about $4.29 US, and you can get it from many retailers, including Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There, you can ask me any questions you have about this mixer. You can also post them here in comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.